Hey, Pascualito. Pascualito, you want to help me today? Are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? Huh? What do you think? You think we could do this? We got this, right? We got this. We can do this. Yeah, we can do it. Go. I have it on an engine stand already. Um, I pulled the uh, bell housing off of it, the flywheel and the coupler, uh, which come off together because they're nuts on studs. And uh, I put it on the engine stand, the wiring harness here. And, you know, a pretty good looking engine from the outside. From the inside, it's a disaster. I thought I'd make this video uh, because every video I've seen has been the uh, Mercurzer, which is basically the same block. Um, this is the uh, Volvo Penta version, which is the same block. It's a 181 cubic inch G GM block. And then Mercruiser takes it and Volvo takes it and they marinize it to their liking. The, the riser, manifold, this is the riser and then the manifold. All that's going to be Volvo's uh, invention, so to speak. The motor mounts is going to be Volvo. Uh, this will be Volvo, where the thermostat housing is. And the water pump is GM. This is GM. Uh, I think this is Volvo, which is the uh, raw water pump from the seawater pump, some people call it, I guess. Uh, that would be... That would be uh, Volvo Penta. Uh, the rest of it is pretty much GM. Uh, yeah, so we would take it apart. Uh, it's got a new starter. Like I said, my buddy put a starter on it. Starter works great. I put a fuel pump on it. Fuel pump works great. Cheap Amazon fuel pump if anybody wants to know. Uh, the link, I'll put the link below. Um, I had my uh, doubts about it because uh, of the reviews, but it's working fine for me. This hose right here, I was like a little confused at the beginning because like I said, I don't, I don't know if I said it before, but I, I didn't know anything about boat motors. This, because of um, it's a marine motor and to prevent fires in the uh, engine bay, they have this hose here that goes back up into the carburetor right here and this hose is in case the diaphragm starts to fail fuel won't spill out into your engine bay and cause a fire potential it'll work its way back up in to the carburetor you should never have fuel here i replaced this because the other one was hard and brittle so you should never have any fluid in this or oil or anything if you do the diaphragm is failing and a fuel pump needs to be replaced this has got the uh, delco distributor on it um, since this is a carbureted engine it doesn't need a connector here but we'll have to get an adapter for timing the engine because it will it will need to have an adapter for the advanced timing on the engine and uh, this is from the coil everything else is standard engine stuff uh, yeah Okay, we had the carburetors new, like I said, from uh, Flying Fish Carburetors in Florida. Um, they did a really quick turnaround. Carburetor worked great. Uh, maybe the thing about these carburetors, from the factory, the fuel mixture is capped off. You can't adjust it. Now, the gentleman at uh, Flying Fish said that he sets these for like three quarters of a turn and they shouldn't have to be moved. I noticed I was idling fast, and then when I tried to adjust my idle back down, it didn't want to run. And maybe it's because of the bearing was causing drag on the engine. I have no idea. But I have a vacuum gauge, and when I get everything back together, um, I'll hook a vacuum up to it, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, yeah, you know, there are a lot of doubts and questions I have about this motor. So uh, let's tear into it. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna label everything. I'll fast forward through all the boring stuff here. 
and I'll label all my wires like these right here. And this video is for documentation too of how this thing is together. The uh, power steering pump, so it goes through a, a manifold here, right here, which cools your power steering fluid. The uh, That's pretty neat, huh? So it runs through here and then out to your power steering. That's the return line, I believe, and it comes up and then back in here. Something like that. Yeah, but it cools it right here. The water runs through here and then the, the hydraulic fluid, the power steering fluid runs in a heat exchanger around the water. Uh, I didn't realize that boat motors put that much pressure on the hydro, on the, uh, on the fluid to cause it to heat up but i guess it's because maybe when you're out on the water there's a lot of resistance when you're turning and if you have skiers on there and they're turning a lot i have no idea but you know um if that's what they thought it needed then i guess that's what it needs i'll have to pull all this off i'll try to pull this off together so i won't have a mess um, i have no idea if they drain the water out of it this feels like it's got water in it. All right, let's get started. Supervisor here, Pascualito. He's gonna make sure that I don't make any mistakes, right, buddy? bagging and tagging all my screws here let me get some more bags because I'll never remember where all this stuff goes uh, I'm tagging all my parts and uh, just gonna put a piece of tape here on the bag and label it this try to be a little bit organized tip right here fuel pump all right and uh, I'm putting my accessories boxes like this to be a little bit better organized also all right i'm gonna back the camera off here
What do you think, Supervisor? show you something I know I probably show it you'll see it on pictures that they sent me but uh, here's my spun bearing and a piece of this was in the oil pan these screws are from from the oil pan so there's only a couple of screws holding the oil pan on All right, Pasquale, get that mount off. Turn this thing around here. All right, let's turn this thing around here and get this motor mount off. Get the power steering pump off here, Pasquale.
Look at that. That was in the manifold. Some grit. I got the carb off. I got the accessories off. The you know, motor mounts are off. Um, the uh, thermostat housing, thermostat housing here is off. Um, drain the water. I have a lot more water in it than I thought. Huh? We'll keep on taking her apart. Uh, we're getting getting closer. Yeah. 